The safe reopening of international universities on St. Kitts and Nevis will bring added economic stability, according to St. Kitts and Nevis' Prime Minister, Dr. Timothy Harris. It is expected that over 600 students of the Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine will return during the first quarter of 2021. Speaking at a press conference on 14th January, Prime Minister Harris spoke of the contribution the universities make to the economy. We welcome the return of as many students and faculty members as possible. Landlords and service providers certainly will be happy at this news. There are other entrepreneurs, including our operators of saloons and spa, taxis, car rental entities, bars, restaurants, and you name them, who benefit from the presence of this student body on St. Kitts and Nevis. The multiplier effect of their expenditure across the economy will be significant. My government will work with all the offshore universities in a mutually supportive way. The presence of a large number of students in Ireland is significantly beneficial to the entire Federation. We will provide the safest and most conducive environment to facilitate the purveying of quality tertiary level education here in St. Kitts and Leibniz. Already 140 students arrived via the Robert L. Bratcher International Airport from Miami and Puerto Rico. These students are in quarantine at the university dormitories and they will be tested for the COVID-19 virus at the end of their quarantine period. Another 500 Ross University students and faculty should arrive shortly in the Federation. Glenn Bath, SKN Newsline.